Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. Today we have yet again some more Halo Infinite information coming out that are pretty interesting and I think you guys would enjoy and want to hear for yourselves. I noticed that you guys are really liking the Halo Infinite content lately, so if you haven't already and you're just seeing this video for the first time, go ahead and check out my other two videos I have posted on the game already. I think you guys will enjoy them very much. But nonetheless, we're going to hop into this information here. It's more of on the mechanical side of the game. Uh, we're going to start off with our AI in the game. This is pretty interesting to me because they haven't really said much about this in their announcements or anything on Twitter lately. Pretty cool because I think we got a pretty brief little uh, look at the smart AI in the game and the way it's going to work with that brute getting shot running down that ramp. Uh, you guys are also probably wondering, I don't know if I'm the only one that was kind of lost in the dark with this, uh, when the grunts were coming flying out of nowhere, apparently the brutes are throwing the grunt. I'm not sure if there's any shots in the gameplay demo. If there is, I'm going to pull it up here for you to see. That is another feature of this smart AI system and i'd imagine that this is going to go way further and there's way more features in the game for this smart ai the wildlife in the world will probably work a lot better as well as some more interesting things with the enemies as well. I managed to find over here an article on GameSpot where they bring up a little bit of this. I will leave it linked down in the description if you like to go and read it for yourself, but it's a little snippet out of here that they said, Halo Infinite will have smarter AI enemies that take advantage of the environment around them to attack you in new ways, including by picking up fellow enemies and throwing them at you. And you're going to constantly have things going on around you that you really would not expect in the previous Halo games that we had before. Now moving on to my second point, we have the big one that everybody is kind of waiting to hear and uh, the reasoning behind this. It's been all over social media and people have been making a huge issue out of it. I understand completely why graphics in the game and why they look the way they do. Now some more information here that I was able to scrape up and find. Uh, Chris Lee, the industry studio head at 343, uh, went on to describe some more things about the graphics. I was a little skeptical when I heard this as well. It says, I think that really lets our game show itself in full fidelity. Now what I'd imagine here, and I really personally hope they do not mean full fidelity as in this is exactly what the game's going to look like. But from my assumption of what I think he means by this is down to the game in 4K quality, it looks great. We know it does. When you zoom in on the picture, you're not going to see any pixels. That fidelity is amazing. But then he goes on to say, we're definitely still very much in development. We have some polishing and tuning that the team is working on to really bring the full potential experience to our fans later this year. I am trying to find the difference between these two things that he says. Like I said, with that first quote, I believe he's talking about the 4K quality of the game. That is on point in my opinion. On the second part, he says about the polishing and tuning of the game. I believe this relates more so towards the illumination, the ray tracing, all of that, those fine little adjustments with the lighting in the game to bring it out to its full potential. Like I said, I could be wrong with this and this could be their whole game and they believe it looks good. Uh, but I personally believe they're still working on that side of things to get that illumination right and make the game look a little more perfect. Now this, I am not too sure this is all my assumptions of what uh, could have happened here in the gameplay demo. First of all, I believe that the game was running on a much older version and a lot of people are asking themselves why would they be running on an older version if they want to show the game off first. They probably had this pre-recorded way months, months beforehand to have it prepared for the event and just have it set in stone so they knew for sure they had something in case something went wrong. I don't know what would have went wrong, but they wanted to make sure they had that there. Two, they were playing on a different system that was not the Series X. I, I do not remember where I saw it, but I saw it briefly in a little article that they were playing on a PC equivalent to an Xbox One X, which we all know can play a game in 4K, but this is a next generation game. It's going to be very difficult for a previous gen console to run this game, especially with ray tracing on. Now with my PC, I have an i7 9700K and a RTX 2080 Super, and I play some games with ray tracing on. It is very demanding on a GPU. It is very demanding to run in 4K at 60 FPS with ray tracing on 1080p 1440p with ray tracing 60 fps is not an issue for systems like this especially what is comparable to the series x but i feel like the series x into some issues because they are really advertising 4k 60 fps with all these amazing ray tracing and lighting illumination stuff and it's very concerning to me considering that console is nowhere near as powerful as a lot of the hardware coming out for modern day pcs uh, that can run at 60 fps in 4k 
uh, with ray tracing on and everything. If you go back and look at Halo's YouTube channel where they uploaded the gameplay and played in 4K, you'll see a pretty big difference. It'll look a lot better, definitely, but there is still that matte flat finish uh, that looks like over all of the textures and stuff. And this goes back to my point of why they were playing on an unfinished version of the game. If you go and look at the campaign gameplay trailer uh, and compare some of the shots to the ones in that demo, you'll notice that a lot of the textures are uh, have been updated. They look better, they're cleaner. Uh, you'll see in some of the images I'm pulling up here, some of the weapons and stuff and the world. Uh, it does look a lot better, but there is some work that they need to do to make it look way, way better. On to my next point, I have uh, about the campaign support. If it'll be co-op, you can have split screen, how many players. This has been confirmed by the devs that there will be four player multiplayer co-op and two player split screen compatibility. So if you are interested in playing with uh, three of your other friends and you wanna hop in the campaign together, you will be able to do that online. Uh, if you wanna play with somebody else, you'll be able to uh, hop in and play split screen on the same system with them as well. And for my last point, just something a little extra to throw in here, we have weapon customization. Uh, this has been uh, kind of dipped in and out of by the community, they're not sure. I, I've seen some bits of things in the gameplay demo that I've seen pretty interesting and seem like they're hinting at uh, some sort of variation or customization in the way weapons work. If you could see at the bottom of uh, when Chief goes to pick up a weapon here, it points out the type of weapon it is, if it's burst, automatic, uh, semi-auto, any kind of rounds that it is firing. This could just be a description of the weapon for us to know, uh, but I think it's kind of odd that they would throw that in now. I feel like this is showing off something that they haven't shown us yet in the game, uh, whether that be fire rate changes, so you might be able to go from full auto to semi-auto to burst, depending on the weapon you have, uh, whether you can interchange the weapons, build them, or level them up in a certain way to unlock some different abilities. And I hope we get some more information later on down the line with this and how it relates to the gameplay or if it has any significance. All right, you guys, that is going to do it for this Halo video. Let me know if you have any ideas or anything you want to see about Halo Infinite in the future from me. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure you drop a like and subscribe to the channel. We are constantly trying to grow it as best as possible. And I will catch you guys on the next video. Perfect. Perfect. Yeah.